I'm going to test out a secret known to catfishers and steelhead fishers this week on Kayak Hacks. Welcome back! If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. If you fish for catfish or steelhead during the run, you know about bait sacks or bait bags. Well, one of the things that bugs me with shrimp is that after a while they get mushy and nasty, and even on a fresh live shrimp, they come off the hook far too easily. So what I wanna do is learn from those guys and stuff my shrimp in a bait bag. The first step in getting shrimp for the bait bag is to go get some. And while you could use your frozen shrimp, and especially those that have been frozen more than one time, I prefer getting some fresh ones. Okay, now I'm out on the water. It's time to see if this idea is any good. So I've got my bait bag that I made, and I'm gonna turn it inside out, like so. And I'm, given that shrimp is fairly delicate, I'm gonna take this piece of this spawn net and put that on the inside to hold the shrimp. That way they don't dissolve as quickly as they might. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'll just wrap these couple shrimp here. I'll put three of them in to get a nice bunch of scent. And I think I'll throw in a fish bites as well. So I'll just kind of make these into a pocket. Get my bait sack that I've turned inside out and stuff all that in. Now, I'll squish it to get the shrimp set going, and I'll use a little bit of magic thread around the top to close it up. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I can smell it right now. It smells like fish. Okay, got my number two, two odd hook here. Sticking it through the bait bag. Now let's see if it catches a fish. No action on the bait bag yet. I'm thinking maybe having that spawn net in there is a bad idea. So I'm going to redo this without the spawn net and go to a different spot. The interesting thing is that this surgical tubing is pretty robust. I've replaced the shrimp in here once before already. It's hanging in there. Well, just had a hit on the bait bag. I'll keep trying. Well, I think that hit was a crab, because look how mangled this thing is. Well, this bait bag thing isn't really working out. Of course, it's been kind of a slow day today. I stuffed a bunch of shrimp in there, and it's just kind of floating around. I'm not willing to call this a fail yet. Bait bag, day two. Second test, better day. Let's see how it goes. Bait bag inshore, day three. Well, the first two days weren't really good fishing days. So I'm not going to knock the bait bag yet, but today is ideal. We've got clouds, we've got low wind, uh, not a lot of waves. So I'm going to throw this thing out and see if it's finally going to work inshore. I'm convinced this would be a great idea for surf fishing because you could stuff some cut mullet in there, maybe even wrapped in that spawn netting, and it wouldn't uh, disintegrate as fast as it usually does with all the violent wave actions you get in the surf. But it's a calm day here. Let's see how this performs. I'm gonna throw it out here to the left. We think the redfish sometimes swim down the left-hand channel here. Let's see if I can catch a fish. Well, I'm gonna declare these bait bags a fail for inshore fishing. All I'm doing is wasting a bunch of shrimp. I've been catching, uh, today I caught three redfish and a stingray on live and dead mullet, bottom rigged, nothing on this bait bag floating underneath a slip bobber. So it's off the bottom, out of reach of the crabs, but not attracting any attention. So I guess I'm going to assume that it's the bait bag configuration that's putting these fish off. What's your perspective? Am I wrong on this? Should I give this some more tries? I know it'll probably work in the surf, and I look forward to trying it there. Throw your comments down below. We'd all appreciate it. Thanks.